Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeff is back with another video. All right, y'all. I actually don't know when this video will upload. So whenever it uploads, y'all know the title. I'll put it on there. But anyway, y'all, we're going to do, you know, I did butter beans last week, a few weeks ago, in the pot. Takes two hours in the pot. Y'all know I'm on my Instant Pot and air fryer is coming up next month. A lot of air fryer videos. I'm going to show you how to make butter beans with salt joel, as my mama would call it, salt bacon. In about, about 50 minutes, 55 minutes, I'm going to set it on. And uh, yeah, it don't take long at all, y'all. I'm going to show you the process, how it is. You can set this. You can do it on a slow cooker type of uh, crock pot. But you know, Instant Pot is a slow cooker. You can saute in it, you can fry in it, you can slow cook in it. It's a pressure cooker. You can make all kinds of stuff. You can do rice in there, you can do cake. I'm gonna do cakes this summer in there. You can do cakes in here, you steam it. It does everything, it's multi-purpose. Best invention in a long time for the kitchen. So anyway, y'all, let me show you what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna put my beans in here first. And I'm gonna fill this up with water. I wanna be, not fill it up, but I wanna cover the beans pretty much two times over, if that makes sense. See, I got them covered right there. I'm gonna put more water, it's like that. Maybe a little bit more. And you know these butter beans, I like mine with a lot of juice in it and like to be thick. So that's what it's gonna be here. We're gonna put our chicken bouillon uh, powder in there. I got some onions, and I got my salt joe. I'm not gonna put no salt in here because the chicken bouillon has salt, and then this bacon has salt in it. So I'll season it, see if it needs seasoning at the end. So all I'm gonna do, y'all, put this top on here. Make sure it's sealed. I'm gonna set it, so set it on here, say bean, and I'm gonna go up to 55, minutes on this thing y'all let's see here you're gonna do like 55 on here that's it 55 minutes and when we come back y'all like i said it's the best way to make beans if you're gonna beans in a hairy you know the old days cook beans on top of the stove have to watch it make sure it don't burn make sure the water don't dry but this thing here i'm gonna do them in less than an hour and less time have more flavor because none of the flavor escapes through the air like it do in traditional pots. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back here. We're gonna open this up here. And yes, sir, let's see what we got here, y'all. Oh yeah. And what I like to do, y'all, with my butter beans, see it has a lot of liquid in it. I like to push some of the beans up side the side the pan. And that's gonna kind of make it a little thicker. It's gonna make it creamier. So just push it up there. Take some of the beans and kind of push them to the side, on the side there. It's gonna give you a creamier, creamier uh, texture beans. So what I'm gonna do, y'all, I'm gonna step off here. I'm gonna get my bowl. Let me show y'all the potato here. See that, y'all? Nice butter beans right there. And as they sit up, y'all, I mean, it look like a lot of, I like, a, like I said, a lot of juice in mine. As they sit up, they gonna, that juice is gonna absorb through some of the beans here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna keep mashing it up. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna have a bowl of it with some cornbread I got here, y'all. We're gonna have a nice bowl of butter beans and cornbread with salt joel in here. We're gonna see how it tastes. So we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back here. Let me see. Let me taste this a little. Mm, I have good flavor. You know I got to put some hot sauce in here. I got my cornbread, y'all. Give y'all a close-up to this. Got to have that cornbread in there. Let me see if y'all can see this really good. There we go. Like I say, got to have the cornbread in there with these beans. And, uh, and this is hot. You can see how hot this is, y'all. Got that salt joel in there, little beans, cornbread. Let's see how hot this is. <laughs> I'm blowing this while I take a bite of it. Mm. 
the stuff there, yeah, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. But it means done in less than an hour, y'all. Listen, pop. And this way you know they ain't gonna burn. Because there's a lot of liquid in it. And like I say, if you let it set up, that liquid gonna keep absorbing in them beans. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. One more bite, y'all. Bacon in there. My mom and Annie was here. This would be unsafe for them because they would eat this whole pot, y'all. Look at that. Mm. That's it, y'all. The salt Joe bacon. I didn't have to add no seasoning and nothing to it. But it had enough salt with the uh Bacon and then the chicken bouillon. Y'all see how it's just soaking up that juice already. Mm -hmm. One more bite, we'll close the video out. Mm. All right, y'all. Let me close the video out. If you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe. Please follow my other social media account, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2022, helping others with a purple Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day, and I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.